will discuss about the nerves of the palmar aspect of the hand. This is formal aspect of the hand. Here is position of flexor and maculum. This is position of flexor and maculum. This is scaphoid. Here is crest of trapezium. This is PC form. This is hook of hammer. This is hook of hammer. This is flexor retina pulla. The palmar aspect of the hand is supplied by two nerves. These are median nerve and ulnar nerve. First of all, we will discuss about the median nerve. Here, this is median nerve in the forearm about 5 cm proximal to this flexor adnaculum. This median nerve gives Palmer cutaneous branch. It gives palmer cutaneous branch which gives supply to skin of lateral two third of the palm. So this portion, lateral two third of the palm up to here. This portion. Lateral two third of the palm is supplied by this palmar cutaneous branch. After this here Palmer cutaneous branch. It passes superficial to flexor retina from this and gives supply to lateral two third of the skin of the palm. It includes this lateral two third of the hollow of the palm and here is the skin of thinner eminence. So here I have removed this palmar cutaneous branch. Now, we will discuss about the this median nerve. This main course of the median nerve. This median nerve passes deep to flexor retina column. Passes deep to flexor retina column. And here, after passing deep to flexor retina column, it gives a branch. That is a recurrent branch. It gives supply to, this is a recurrent branch, it gives supply to here, this muscle is abductor pulsus brevis. This is abductor pulsus brevis. It gives branch to superficial head of flexor pulsus brevis. Superficial head of the flexor pulses brevis. And that this is opponent's pulses. It gives branch to opponent's pulses. This is opponent's pulses. This is opponent's pulses. So here it gives supply to two and half muscles. One is abductor pulses brevis 
and there is opponent's pulses, brevis, sorry, opponent's pulses, opponent's pulses, this is opponent's pulses, and this is flexor pulses brevis superficial head. After giving supply to these muscles, it gives palmar digital branch. This is palmar digital branch. Two branch goes to thumb. Here is palmar digital branch. This branch passes along the lateral border of index finger. Here it gives supply to first lumbrite. Here is first lumbrite. This is first lumbrite muscle. And another branch. This is palmar digital branch. Again here it divides and gives supply to adjacent side of this index and middle finger. And also it turns backward and gives supply to nail bed and skin over the distal phalanx. Another branch, this is palmar digital branch, it again divides like this and it turns backward. So, and this gives supply to second lumbrical. This is second lumbrical muscle. So, this is first lumbrical and this is second lumbrical. This is first, this is second lumbrical. And these are digital branches. So, it, from here to here, it gives supply to three and half digits. On the anterior aspect and also on the back side, over the skin, over the distal phalanx, including nail bed, so three and half digits on the dorsal aspect. So these are the cutaneous supply, and it gives a muscle supply. These first lumbrical, second lumbrical, abductor pulsus brevis, flexor pulsus brevis, superficial head, and opponent's pulsus. So this is main course, main nerve, median nerve. This is median nerve and here you have seen this is palmar cutaneous branch which gives supply to this area lateral two third of the palm. So this is all about the course of the course and branches of the median nerve. Thank you.